Hey everybody, how you doing today? Superfiend here. Welcome back to Frostpunk, the fall of winter home. This is uh, my uh, blah, blah, hard difficulty order playthrough and hopefully no deaths. I'm pretty sure we're going to have no deaths, but we'll see. Uh, well, there's some people that we have to leave behind, but that comes later. So I'm pretty sure they die. But like as far as like a little pop up over here that says someone's died, that ain't going to happen. Now, what are we looking at today? We're looking at day nine, uh, one day before we get a little warm spell where the temperature is going to go up by uh, one level. So we're going to end up from uh, minus 58 to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we have a few days of warm weather. Now, if we zoom out here, uh, we can see that we have the outpost team is over here. They are transporting steel, 200 units of steel per day. We have some scouts that are carrying raw food rations and a steam core. They are heading over here to the windswept snow field. And the other scouts that are 14 hours away are carrying a truckload of steel. Uh, some food rations, those look like uh, cooked food rations, and then five steam cores. Now, if we pop in here, we can see that we are out of food completely. We do have a few people that are hungry. Nobody is starving yet. That situation will resolve itself uh, shortly because as soon as I unpause it, it is 5 a.m., so the day is not officially started or, or it's like the citizens aren't really moving about that much. But I believe when I unpause this, all of these hunter's hangers are going to take off into the air and before the workday starts, they should be back and we should end up with a bunch of raw food. Now, as far as priorities go for the uh, scenario, we were researching in here house redesign, which makes our houses cheaper to build minus 10 wood, minus 10 steel per house. And uh, at the when I started researching this, I thought that was going to be a pretty good path. But I think this episode or the focus of this episode is all about the resources. Uh, we need a lot of steel coming up pretty soon here. So we want to get this advanced steelworks and uh, we're going to need to store lots of food and lots of steel and lots of coal. So the resource depot upgrade might also be something that we want. Uh, I've also considered uh, doing a sawmill upgrade, which is going to allow us to harvest all this wood back here faster and the wood resources over here, we'll get those faster as well. And by getting all that wood faster, wood is not gonna be a huge priority for the campaign or the scenario, but getting that wood faster is gonna put us into a good position uh, to finish the few research items that we do need to do and building any buildings that we need to do. So with that said, um, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna cancel house redesign. I know, I'm crazy. Oh, and then there's one more thing. Down over here, we have uh, less than three days to examine the generator. Now what that entails, is going into heating researching the repair station this one is pretty quick it takes eight hours and then once it is once the research is done we have to build it on the generator and then we assign some engineers to man it and it takes a lot of engineers so we kind of want to push that off as much as possible although if we wait to the last minute then the generator will become like severely stressed and severely damaged so we don't quite want to wait all that way um, but we don't need to do it right now. And since we're going to have to take engineers off of all of these buildings and dump them onto the, uh, the, the repair station, we want to get through our resource-related um, technologies very quickly. So now that I've rambled for a few minutes and set things up, let's get this show on the road. And we are going to start, uh, I think with the sawmill upgrade because we're going to need lots of wood soon we've also ha have a uh, quest here to make homes livable um we can kind of just let this one fail and we'll take a, a a ding to our discontent and hope but it won't spell catastrophe for the scenario but um if i'm mindful of it then we'll go ahead and we'll try to fulfill that so here we go games on pause the hunters hangers are sending their little balloon tents off into the air and we do have one steam core here one other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to build an extra factory. And if we look in right here, uh, we can see that we have a steam hub here. And so it's going to be in range. Uh, this factory will be in range of that steam hub. And let's go through and check all of our steam hubs really quick. That one's 24 hours. This one's 24 hours. That one is, well, this one's a work shift steam hub, as is this one and this one. Um, Okay, see this one back here, there used to be, uh, let's pause it real quick. There used to be some tents and stuff over here. So this steam hub was appropriate to be 24 hours. We could switch that over to a work shift steam hub now. Uh, we don't need to burn coal unnecessarily back here. Uh, these guys are waiting and they're at the windswept snowfield. So we'll go ahead, we'll explore this. And there's nothing to do here, but we have discovered 
a frozen forest. And as you would expect at a forest, I believe we are going to find lots of wood there. Now we do have uh, quite a pile of coal and, or I'm sorry, steel and wood here. And these guys are bringing back a ton of steel and they're gonna be here pretty soon. So we wanna make sure that we have capacity for all that steel. If we look in here, we see that we only have capacity for 300. And we also are a little bit short on capacity of raw food and cooked food, or they call it food rations when it's cooked. So another thing that we would likely wanna do here is go ahead and build a couple of these and we can drop, let's see. Let us see here. We can uh, squeeze one in here and we'll be able to squeeze another in here. This hunter's hut, or I'm sorry, this gathering post is, um, it can only pick, oh, I can't even get this coal pile. So it is completely out of range of resources. So we can demolish that and uh, get a little bit of resources back. Uh, guys are still moving. We have a couple automatons that are working. We have two automatons. One is scraping the wood out of this building. And the other one is manning the wall drill back here, getting eight wood per hour, which is not that great. Uh, we would honestly do better during the workday if we put the workers there as long as they actually do something and they don't just um, like walk off to eat or build or do all that kind of stuff. Um, I want to make sure that we we have enough food rations and food. So uh, is it not running right now? It should be running. Okay, so here we go. The first of our hunter's huts are returning. We're a little bit away from the workday and I'm just waiting for the wood to catch up to 40 so we can build another resource depot down here. Uh, I don't want to miss that when it pops up. So here we go, here we go, boop. And so we're gonna build another one of those. Ideally, I'd like to build a third, one for steel, one for raw food, and one for food rations. I'd like to increase each of those capacities. Uh, we do also have some people that are sick and we don't have engineers. So uh, the next thing we wanna do with wood, I think before we worry about resource depots, is we want to build a couple uh, medical posts. Uh, now in here, this factory, we're going to get this uh, cranking away on some prosthetics. And I'll go ahead and do 15. I don't think they'll get through 15 in a day, but we'll just see what happens with that. Okay, now as soon as this is done, um, we're going to go ahead and assign this to, I think, I think raw food first. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let's do food rations. Okay, we've got lots of wood is uh, coming in pretty quick. Let's pause real quick. Let's build a couple medical posts. And we're gonna build uh, one here. We're gonna build another one where this cookhouse is, uh, but not until this gathering post is demolished. Okay. So we could do another resource depot and we'll go ahead and drop this one. We got no room in here. We got a uh, space right back there. So this one was food rations. This one will be raw food, okay? Uh, silence in the runes. There are no more people buried under any of the runes. So we are past that part of our campaign. And I don't have any spare engineers to uh, work anything yet, but I'm gonna pull a few off of here. I'm gonna put them on this factory and then I'll put the single engineer back here. And what we're gonna get from doing this is we're gonna go ahead and uh, assign more prostheses, prosthetics, whatever you wanna call them. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help some of these amputees uh, down here get back into our workforce. So we're gonna get more workers back by having these two factories uh, chug through making prosthetics, right? That's the goal right now. And then um, we need some capacity. Okay, so we are gonna uh, take all the engineers off of that. Uh, workshop and we're gonna put them over here and this medical post will turn the heater on wood runes is depleted So we've now just gotten an automaton back into the workforce And we want to go ahead and clear up these wood runes right here Because if we can get rid of these wood wood runes and we get more workers back We can build a sawmill in here and that's gonna allow us to uh, uh, Increase our wood production Okay, so popping in here looking at these uh, this is food rations. This is raw food this is raw food. This one is going to be our steel. And so when these guys come back and they drop a big pile of steel on us, we'll have plenty of room for it. This uh, this gathering post is gone now. So we're gonna go ahead and put a cookhouse in here. 
As soon as that cookhouse is done, we are going to go ahead and dismantle this cookhouse. Sawmill upgrade has been researched. Now we're going to increase our sawmill range. And this is supposed to take 15 hours. Uh, but if we pop in here and look, it's going to take... And it's going to take about seven hours. So we're not going to get it done today because seven hours will take us to 2100. And we do have a sawmill back here, which is has no more wood in range. Um, we have one right here that's gathering this wood. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull, we're going to dismantle this one. And we'll just have the one back here. And then we'll have the one over here plus these ones. Uh, we're going to dismantle this one here now too. This is another sawmill, has no resources in range. Go check out what's going on up here. And we have a timely intervention with our neighborhood watch. I'm not sure what that does. Maybe hope will increase slightly. Doesn't look like it did much. Doesn't look like it did anything. Okay, we're going to put some children in here. And we're doing good with the resources and the wood and all that stuff. And these guys are almost at their destination. So, boom, let's explore the frozen forest. And it says we're going to find some wood. Uh, 253 wood, and there's nowhere else for any of our scout teams to go except for the steel bridge, which has an automaton. And if we send the automaton to our city, we're going to lose the outpost depot delivering iron. So we're never going to do that. Um, so we'll just send these guys back here to Winter Home, and then these guys are coming to Winter Home. And then we can send the scout team to the weather station. And we could pick up some survivors here, and that is a party of engineers. And we're going to want to do that because we're going to need some more engineers uh, back here in our city to get some stuff done. Uh, we can see here we've got nine prosthetics. Uh, where's our factory? Ten prosthetics. Seven. So let's just kind of like bump this up a little bit and just keep going with the prosthetics today because we want to get all these guys done. And then when, we're, when we have enough prosthetics... We will redirect the output of these things to um, automatons because we're going to have a bunch of steam cores. Now, over here, this cookhouse, we are out of raw food rations, so we can go ahead. We can destroy uh, this cookhouse, and we'll build a couple more medical posts back here. We need some extra capacity for our medical posts before people start dying, okay? We don't want anybody to die because they're not being treated, so we need to get on top of that right away. Okay, right away. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and build uh, four, uh, three more medical posts. Okay. And we'll just be patient, let those finish. Uh, we are getting closer to being able to pass a new law and this isn't gonna go anywhere for right now. And uh, let's see, what else can we build in the meantime? Oh yes, make homes livable. Time left, one hour. We have enough coal for two days. So what we could do is we could turn the overdrive on for now. And it's going to tell us to keep homes warm. Sometime during the night, we can go ahead and change to steam level three and turn off the... Or no, I'm sorry. Uh, if we can make it till morning, which is, I, I don't know, like 12 hours away. If we can make it to 12 hours with the overdrive on, all we got to do is wait till the temperature drops and turn the overdrive off. And then the temperature is not going to change for two days. So we'll be able to do that. We're going to send these guys here to the weather station because they're going to go get those engineers for us as rapidly as possible. And then since we're not doing any research right now, but we do have sick people, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and bam, instantly we've increased our capacity there. And uh, have we even got one engineer back from our workforce? It seems like we had like one extra engineer. Okay, so now all we're dealing with is some people are hungry. That's no big deal. Uh, we'll sort that out in due time. And let's see, what else can we do? Uh, one other thing that would be nice would be to extend this road uh, going this way. Okay, so that's good. And we have a steam hub here, a steam hub there. Um, we're gonna, when we uh, when we finish examining the generator, we're gonna have to start sending people out of here. And we're gonna start with the children. So all these gathering posts that have children, they're all gonna kind of go away. And so I think what I wanna do is build an extra uh, coal thumper up here and just stockpile gathering posts all over this area so that we can get rid of all this stuff in here in terms of coal and gathering posts so let's go ahead before we pass a law we have we do have the option to pass a law right now 
Let's go ahead and do resources. We're going to add another coal thumper right here. And we're going to build um, resources again. We're going to build two gathering posts there. We're going to drop two in there. Two in there. Lots and lots of gathering posts. And we need to build some road right here. So that takes care of that. And these coal piles will not go away if we demolish the coal thumpers. So we're going to get rid of these coal thumpers right now. And in doing so, we can turn off this steam hub because this steam hub is effectively um, pulling double duty with the uh, uh, coal thumpers and the factory. But then there is also a steam hub right here for the factory. So if we can go ahead. We can turn this one off now and we'll be using slightly less coal after doing that. And then these coal piles will not go away, but they are in range of the gathering post here. So the coal will still get uh, collected. And then uh, likewise, because I think we're going to upgrade the, the uh, coal thumpers to maybe steam coal thumpers. I'm thinking just to be like a little bit on the conservative side, we'll add one more gathering post back here, which should be able to reach um, or all three of these should be able to keep up with this coal pile if we upgrade this to a steam coal thumper. Going in here, we can uh, get morning gathering. That's going to increase our hopes slightly every single day. And that will be good as well. And then uh, this one we can turn off. This one we can turn off. We don't need those on right now. And we want to wait till some of these sick people get uh, healthy again. And then what we'll do is we have some medical posts back here. We have one here. We have one here. And we have one here. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to close those and only use the medical posts that are in tight close to the generator if we have the need for curing sick people and the idea with that is is we kind of want to get rid of some of the building space back here and use these generators mostly for houses and no longer for the medical posts unless unless we absolutely have to kind of want to like tighten things up a little bit that's the yeah, that's the goal right now and these guys are they're almost to the weather station so as soon as they get there, we'll speed it up real quick to expedite this whole process. And we can see that our uh, our steel pile or depot is getting close to being full. So let's see, where do we want to build? Like we can add one right here, um, but I think I want to leave this space open for extra hunter's huts or hunter's hangers. So we're going to put one right here. And then the next one would go there. Um, when we when we clear, no, this is a resource depot. What? Okay, no, we're gonna cancel this. Uh, we're gonna demolish that road right there, and we're gonna build this one right here. And then when we clear, this is also a resource depot. Can we get rid of this road and open some of this up? This, if we if we demolish this road, it's going to get rid of all this stuff. So let's see here real quick. I may have been uh, not very optimal in the way I did this. All right, we're going to wait till that road gets built before we worry about demolishing this one. Sorry about that. A little bit of confusion there. Sometimes the, the brain doesn't work so well, right? Okay, we want to get all of the children assigned in here as soon as these things get finished. Oh, these guys. Uh, explore, bring the engineers to the city, and they'll be back soon. Okay, we'll check on that in a second. Okay, so what's going on here? End of weather forecast, I see. So um, because we've pulled the engineers out of the weather station, we're no longer going to get weather forecasts up here. We kind of know what it's going to do um, at, the, at the beginning of day 10. And we're going to get a warm spell, and that's going to last for a few days. I'm not quite sure exactly how long. And as soon as the temperature uh, increases to minus 40, we can turn off the overdrive, and we'll still be able to keep homes warm. Okay, we go over here. These guys are back, so we can pop over here. We have nowhere else to send these guys, so we're going to disband that scout party. That gives us 40 wood, and our wood is currently full. Uh, let's get... Now uh, we'll build another one of those right there. The spacing on these is not quite optimal, but it's uh, not the end of the world. And until we allocate the one that we're building here to wood, our automaton isn't doing anything. And we have a sawmill here. 
that is inoperative. Oh, because the uh, the resources, uh, the wood is full. So we don't want to demolish that one quite yet. Uh, we come over here. We have 56 workers. We could put 10 in there and put some children in there. Children in here and children in here. Uh, okay. Again, that's because the wood is full. We don't got we don't have any new engineers from our pile here. Uh, we do have some more sick people. So what we're going to do is we're going to say engineers none and none. And we're going to put some engineers in these uh, medical posts, medical outposts. Uh, we don't want anybody to die from lack of treatment. That's uh, that's my big goal right now. Nobody dies. And we allocate this to wood. We'll possibly allocate the next one to wood, which will give us 900 wood uh, capacity. Okay, we just got some engineers back. So just in time, we can go ahead and put all these um, engineers that we just got back into here. And so our research will still be blazingly fast and we have enough medical posts. And as soon as this person gets their butt into a building, uh, they'll be okay. So nobody should die from lack of treatment. So again, no deaths, no deaths. And uh, this scout team, um, oh, wait, the resource depot is done. We'll change it to wood. Um, we got nowhere to send these guys. So that's it. We have no more scout teams. There's there's nowhere for them to go. Nothing for them to do. It's all um, outpost depot and um, the, uh, the dreadnought when we get to it. Okay, temperatures just increased. So we can go ahead. We can turn off the overdrive. And... As soon as this research is done, I think we're going to have to plow through the repair station. Uh, because if we if we let this get down too low, the the generator stress will cap out from events. Okay, it, it, as this as this ticks down, you get some events and notifications that tell you like, hey, your generator is going to blow up. So we need to um, we need to make sure that that doesn't happen. We can't let this bar get all the way full. So I don't know, maybe turning the uh, generator into overdrive was a mistake, we'll see. But I think we'll be okay. And here we go, we're chugging through some more prosthetics here. Uh, we've gotten another engineer back into our, our worker pool. So we've almost got everything fully staffed. Uh, we have a lot of ex um, excess workers. That is enough for more hunters hangers. So let's go ahead and drop some there and there. And even though they don't need heating, uh, we'll drop one there, one there, and we'll go ahead and throw one in right there. Now, we will eventually dismantle this uh, factory because we, we don't need it. Why, why is it asking us to build a road here? Oh, it wasn't quite connected to the, to the road back there. That's fine. Okay, good. Okay, wood runes depleted. That means that this guy is, uh, he's done. Nope, come here. So we'll go ahead and put him on this wood runes. And while we wait, let's go to resources. And we'll go to sawmill. And so if we can build one back here without destroying resources, it looks like we can in this spot right here. And it reaches most of this stuff. And so this will be a new sawmill. And let's see, what else can we do in here? Oops, sorry, sorry. Uh, we have three prosthetics and 10 amputees. Okay, sawmill extension range researched. Now, I'd really, really, really like to get the advanced steelworks. How long does this take? Uh, 15 hours. What time is it right now? 12. So we're not going to get it today if we go with that one. Uh, but w w what we can get done today is this, because this is only going to take four hours, I think. So let's uh, let's just see here. About four hours, yes, because we're researching at pretty much 200% efficiency with all of our um, all of our uh, what are they called? Workshops, right? Workshops, yeah. Okay, let's put some uh, more regular workers in here on the hunters' hangers, and we also now that I'm looking, we have a a hunter's hut that can be upgraded to a hunter's hangar back here. And then we'll upgrade this one also. And the reason we want to do that is we need a ton of food 
uh, for the Dreadnought when we get the repair station done and we start stockpiling the Dreadnought. If you're not familiar with the campaign, we'll get to that. We'll get to it. Um, but we need to, we're going to need to evacuate Winter Home is pretty much what's going to happen here pretty soon. And we see everything is like ultra toasty, comfortable, and we need to keep homes livable. So if I were to go through and upgrade some of these, uh, some of these buildings, we could drop our generator down a level. So let's go ahead here. Uh, first, let's see how many houses are nobody's living in them. So pretty much just one one bunkhouse. And so I don't think we want to mess with the um, demolishing any buildings quite right now. Uh, but what we can do, what we can do, is we can go in the people, and we can start. Let's see. It's our our bunkhouses are comfortable. So anywhere where we have a tent. We can build a bunkhouse for 20 wood, 10 steel. How many will that be? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, so basically 15 bunkhouses. And what I'm going to do is we're going to build them in here. So we're going to go 1, 2, I think 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then we can build here. Uh, we want to do these ones that are in here. This is going through a lot of wood really fast. Maybe that one, that one. Okay, I don't know if everything's going to get built in time, and it may cause us to fail uh, this quest. The other thing we're going to have to do is we need a steam hub in here if we're going to do this. So we're going to put it right... If we put it right here, I think it will hit everything. We'll put it right there. I think it's going to hit all of these bunkhouses. Okay. Um, darn, I used up pretty much all of our wood. Let's go ahead and do a couple more prosthetics in each factory just to burn us through the day. Tomorrow, uh, if we have the resources, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start working on automatons. So we're going to take this automaton off of there. We're going to put it on this sawmill. Okay. And we're going to put some people on this. Repair station uh, research. No, we don't want that. We want this. And we need to focus on resources. And I think what we really want is advanced steelworks. We need lots of steel soon. And uh, right now, we also need to build something for coal. And what was that noise? Oh, yeah, we need to build a repair station. Tech. Okay, we need 50 wood. And we can also pass a law. That's what that was. So we'll go in here and we'll get the foreman, which allows us to increase workplace efficiency by 40% for 24 hours. And that's a that's a pretty big boost. So we definitely want to do that. Take advantage of that. Waiting for one more piece of wood and we can build the repair station. That goes right here next to our generator. How is our overdrive? Hopefully it goes down all the way before these events start popping up, but we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can do that. Now we have 51 people homeless, but we haven't failed this quest yet. Now, as soon as these all finish, we'll be able to start demolishing some of the housing back here and we'll be able to um, kind of turn off some of this stuff and like focus on a more efficient layout for the generator and the houses than what we have over here. Everything up here is kind of like a little bit spaced out, more spaced out than I want it to be. So it'd be nice to uh, make that a little bit tighter. Oh, we got another engineer back, so we can drop another engineer in there. And do we have any medical posts that don't have patients? Let's see. So we can probably demolish like two medical posts, but we're not going to do that quite yet. We'll wait until uh, more of these people get healthier. 
we're not in any hurry to do that. We, we certainly don't want to rush ourselves and cause people to die. And you'll see now, uh, this is our foreman, which costs 10 food rations every time we want to use it, which is another reason why we focused on getting all these hunter's huts done. Uh, hunter's hangers. I'm sorry, I keep calling them hunter's huts. Uh, but we need lots and lots of food in order to use the foreman ability to increase our production. So we are going to need that. Now, uh, these buildings here, there's nothing left for them to gather, so we can go ahead and get rid of them. And I'm tempted to demolish one of the care houses, but I think I'll, I think I'll leave it running. I'll leave it running. And so right now, what we really wanna do is uh, let's go ahead and increase, use the foreman for our wall drill and the sawmill and it doesn't really matter because this one's manned by regular workers but we'll do it for that one too and then we'll go ahead and do these ones also so the next work day all the way until nighttime will be more efficient uh, more productive i should say and so right now we want to start stockpiling our coal uh, but i also want to make sure that we have enough wood to build a couple automatons when we get in uh, tomorrow Okay, so what we'll do is we'll switch this over. Nope, uh, just one automaton and we'll switch this to one automaton. And if we can get up to 200 wood by tomorrow, which we won't quite do because we won't have the steel because no steel is being gathered right now. Uh, but if we can get 200 wood, 200 steel uh, pretty early, then the automatons, both of these factories will barf out automatons. And so we want to get through to that. Uh, this is done. So what I want to do right now, while we don't have any engineers doing work, is pull these guys off of here. And I want to slam them into here. And it says it's going to take 20 hours uh, when we have almost 48 hours. So just the, um, just the 20 engineers is going to get this done pretty fast. And then we'll go ahead here and we can see now that um, sick people being treated is um, we're catching up. We're, we're going to soon run out of people that are sick. We no longer have any more amputees that are unable to work. We don't have any extra engineers. So everyone else that we got back is a worker or a child, uh, which is fine. That's OK. And what do you say here? Uh, policing the streets. We don't want people to get hurt and we don't want discontent. So we don't care about this content. It's really low. So we're going to go ahead and raise our hope slightly. That will work out better for us. All right. And okay, so we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. And what do we need to do now? I think we just need to speed through until morning. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up to the next level here. If we turn ourselves around... We see we are at 17 hours when we have, you know, sufficient time. Generator stress is almost gone. Uh, the last dreadnought, the chief engineer of the team investigating the cause of the generator malfunction takes you aside and he is visibly concerned. I was thinking about the last of the dreadnoughts that brought us here. The only one we haven't taken apart yet. At first, it seemed we'd have to dismantle it to fix the generator. But now I think we may need it intact after all, just in case, you know. We have to leave the city. So that is where the fall of Winter Home comes in. The uh, generator is going to become increasingly unstable, and we're going to have to abandon Winter Home. But before we can abandon it, we have to outfit the Dreadnought here um, with supplies, and we have to fix it up and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, generator condition worsens. Uh, rumors have certain... Uh, ba, 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 ba. We must inspect it right away. Okay, generator stress rises, discontent rises. So let's look at where the generator stress goes. Doesn't seem like it went up very high, does it? Doesn't seem like it went up anywhere to me. Okay. Right, let's go ahead. And we can see here this, uh, whoops, this little circle steadily progressing inspection in progress, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Everybody who was sick is almost not sick, almost healthy again. And we can start to dismantle some of our uh, buildings and tents. So I think everything that's a tent 
can be demolished, which is, uh, yeah, we don't want anybody in that tent. So let's go ahead here. Let's go to, uh, people. Let's pause it real quick. Uh, these two back here, we'll just go ahead and upgrade those ones and okay. So we can get rid of this We can get rid of that and we can get rid of this building. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that tent there. Uh, where else do we have tents people aren't living in? All the way over here, we, we don't need anybody in that. And this and this. Uh, well, let's let that run. Let's let those buildings get demolished, and then we'll see where we stand. Because what I want to do is I want to get rid of all the housing back here. And it's possible that this is now empty. It's uh, close enough. So we'll go ahead and take all the engineers off, turn the heater off, turn the building off destroy the building so that's going to get rid of that medical post back there how do we look over here zero out of ten uh, at this point we only need two medical posts so we take everybody off turn the heater off we'll demolish it and this one's probably uh, this one's pretty close to empty not quite so we're going to go ahead and uh, do the same here so we're going to get rid of all those medical posts everything that's back there that's pretty much unnecessary and start filtering the sick people down over this way uh, we look in here, we're at 13 hours. Uh, when we have one day, 15 hours. Okay, workday is started. Uh, how long until these guys get here? Two hours. So that's when we're going to get our steel that we need. That's fine. It's okay, we can handle that. Oh, these, these guys, they started building. These guys are waiting on some steel. Okay, cool. Uh, so, and we've got the uh, the foreman thing there. So they're going to get their steel pretty quick. And as long as we don't spend too much on steel and wood today, we could probably... Let's, how long is this going to take? Is it going to tell me? We can probably get out like four automatons today. And with four automatons, what we'll be able to do is when the work shift rolls over, we'll put two automatons back here. And um, where else would we put automatons? Well, maybe we'll use some extra ones to just clean up some more of these runes and get this stuff out of here. We're out of steel. So the uh, the next automaton has started working. Okay. Uh, we could pass a law. Let's pop in here. And... Uh, now, if we go this way... We get propaganda center and agitator. But what I want is I want the patrols because these reduce discontent and raise hope. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to do that right now because we want to keep our discontent low and our hope extremely high. And as dilemmas pop up, if our hope is high enough and our dis discontent is low enough, we have extra options for how we solve those problems. Right. So that will be good. We have pretty good food rations. So let's go ahead and... Use the foreman on our factories, which will allow the automatons to get produced even faster. Okay, bam, automaton just came out. So we're going to start clearing the wood out of these wooden runes. And as soon as we... What are we waiting for? Okay, another one. And make sure we get another one going over here too. So we've got another automaton going at each factory. As soon as the, uh, the current one is done here, another one will start. And this one's already starting one. Might be able to get it done in a day. We'll see. And our research, advanced steelworks. Boom. And where do we want to go now? Uh, I think... I think I want to go hunter, uh, flying hunter's gear because this is going to pretty much double our food rations, our raw food that we get every single day. And it's relatively fast. Okay. Uh, the other thing I could do is we can go ahead and just go through each of these buildings and use a bunch of food rations to increase our research capacity, our research throughput. And that, that will pay for itself soon because we are going to um, gather a lot more. Oh, let me say, we're going to research a lot faster. 
Uh, we're we're going to gather a lot more raw food, so we will have plenty of food rations. Um, and so using food rations to increase the research so that we can gather food faster is what I'm trying to say is going to pay off for us. Bleh. Oh, an angry ramp. Sir, our guards report that a man is giving an impassioned speech. Okay, discontent will rise. Hope will fall slightly. Um, Let's let the discontent rise. Okay, it's not going to go up very high, I don't think. It doesn't seem like it did anything. And do we have uh, any automatons that can work right now? Nope, not yet. Okay, this is almost done. Generator stress is uh, falling pretty low. Okay, another automaton just uh, got barfed out. Let's build a second one as soon as we can. Probably won't start until tomorrow, I'm guessing. And so where do we want to put this automaton? Let's go ahead and gather up the, uh, the wood over here so that we have more room in this ring for resource depots if we need them. And we also, I think we should complete the, uh, the roads that go around here. Okay, so we'll do that. And then um, what are our medical posts doing? We have, are they all open and manned? Uh, we've only got one sick person. So we can go ahead and close that. Close that, close that. Turn off the heaters here. I should have done this earlier. I wasn't really keeping a close enough eye on the medical posts. Okay. But we do this. How do we have nine engineers just sitting around doing nothing? How long is this going to take? One day, six hours. All right, we'll just throw them in here. So it's going to take four hours. Uh, no, I don't want it to take four hours. I want it to take longer. So I'm going to pull engineers off. We have uh, 30 hours. So let's get it to like take roughly half of uh, um, 30, which would be 15, but we, we can only choose between 13 and 17. So we'll pick uh, 13, okay? So we want to put this off as long as possible, if we can. And hopefully the generator stress doesn't hit the top and explode on us, right? That's the goal here. And uh, what are we researching? Flying Hunter's gear. So we need these people to come back with lots and lots of uh, food so we can continue using our um, our foreman ability. We'll go ahead and we'll start another automaton here. We're going to build automatons until we have um, none left or until we have no steam cores left. Okay. And you'll see how that's going to work out. And ideally, we want to build our last automaton right as this finishes. And you'll see why. You'll see why. Okay, so we have an automaton that's just not doing anything right now. So let's put it on uh, this one over here. Promise fulfilled. Okay, so hope rises even further, uh, which is good. And then uh, can, we, uh, can we use our cooldown for hope? Watchtower. Oh, I can only do that from a guard station. I didn't know that. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Now, how many houses are unused? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six uh, living accommodations that are unused. And this one is affected by this steam hub here, but this one is not. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to demolish that. We'll demolish this and that one. And that one, so that's one, two, three, four. We'll be able to get rid of this watchtower if we don't need them. And we'll get rid of this bunkhouse here. And then we can also get rid of this cookhouse. We won't need this anymore. And I'm just trying to figure out, we want to put a cookhouse somewhere, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of okay. And then uh, we can change this steam hub to being off, right? So we'll just wait until all this stuff is done being built. And we'll go ahead and... How many cookhouses do we currently have? Just the two cookhouses. Just the two. So ideally, we need to build another cookhouse somewhere. 
where would we put it? Somewhere where there's a heater. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Well, does this, does this steam hub affect it? I can't tell until tomorrow. Okay. So we're going to turn this one off though. Um, because it only needs to be on for the workers while they cook in it. it can, people can still eat at it if it's cold or whatever. They won't get sick in this, uh, in this facility. Okay, we got one person sick. 21 people are hungry. We got lots of food rations. Uh, tomorrow, this will be done. And then I think we'll focus on the steam coal thumper, possibly. And while it's nighttime, we're going to go ahead and upgrade these two uh, steelworks buildings. So that when we come back tomorrow, um, they'll be extra productive. You know, they'll be gathering more steel, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so now what are we looking at? The generator is deteriorating. Oh, no. Generator stress rises. And discontent rises greatly. Oh, dear. Uh, but it didn't go up too much. Hasn't gone up too much. So I think we're okay. And this would be a good time to trigger our patrol for the discontent. But the other thing we can do is we can just build fighting arenas in such a way that they cover our housing right so we'll like do like that and we could put one right here can't put any back here uh, we put one right there and we want a watchtower in here is anybody living in this there are 10 people 10 people uh i have one one bunkhouse that's chilly where is this okay we're gonna demolish that and we are going to build uh, order guard station right there. And where can I build a house that is in range of a steam hub? A bunkhouse. Right here. All right. So I demolished. I, that used to be a medical facility. So we'll put a bunkhouse there. When that one is done... We can demolish the tent here, and then we can put a fighting arena here, and that's going to cover um, almost all the houses with fighting arenas, right? So we'll be pretty good there. And I... But I never, like, lower this. I can lower this now. Uh, it's a very low risk of anybody getting sick when the weather's chilly. Okay. This is almost done. How long do we got here? Is it going to tell me? And how long is my recording? 47 minutes. So we probably, uh, probably when this is done and the day starts, be a good time to uh, cut this one off and then see what we're going to have to do for the next one. And that's what I'm thinking. Okay, these are not done yet. And this is almost done. As soon as that's done, people should move out of this tent. No, that was the fighting arena. We're waiting on this one. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. They're going to give us the bad news. Oh, no. The generator report is ready. Uh, basically, the generator has a catastrophic flaw, and it's going to keep breaking down. And every time it breaks down, the stress is going to rise. And we'll be able to patch it up using the repair station, but the fixes won't last for long. And Winter Home is doomed. So here we go. Everybody's going to panic. Let's take a screenshot. Oh, no. And so what do we do? We have to evacuate. And we have two choices here. Now, we can lie and say that we know of another city and hope will rise greatly. However, if we say we don't know what we're going to do, um, I think hope falls. And then, or, or no, just work efficiency drops by 10%, which really hurts. But we do have the foreman ability to make up for that. And if we raise hope a little bit, the work efficiency will be raised by uh, 10%. So uh, we can offset this work efficiency problem in a couple days' time in the game. So we're going to go ahead and say that we don't know where to go, but we have to try. And so we must prepare the evacuation. The way we do that is we have to build the evacuation center, which costs a little bit of wood and steel. That goes over here. Wooden runes depleted. So we've got a new automaton back into the fray. Uh, that we can have it go do stuff. We're going to start gathering uh, from here. And you know what? We got quite a few children just sitting around doing nothing. 
Maybe we should build a gathering post right here. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Okay, as soon as this is done, uh, I think we can demolish this and nobody will be homeless. Yep. Okay, good. And then, so if we pop back here in the people, we have one tent. It's being... No, we have uh, two more tents over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade these to bunkhouses. I think we'll be demolishing them rather soon overall. Uh, what was that? Uh, repair station improvements. That's uh, research upgrades for the repair station. We'll look at that in a minute. We want to finish the flying hunter's gear first. Okay. Uh, wood runes depleted. Okay, so we have another automaton. Can run off and do stuff. And we can put some workers in there. Now, let's see. Where, where do we want to go ahead and drop an automaton over here boom good what is this this is uh this sawmill has no more uh wood in range so the only thing that we're using this steam hub for back here is this factory and we're going to be demolishing this factory soon uh, but we can get rid of the sawmill right now and then these advanced steel works are ready for the uh the upcoming day okay and we still only have one person who's sick and we have pretty decent food rations Although, uh, we need another uh, cookhouse. So, we're going to demolish this care house. We'll put a cookhouse in its stead. Okay. You'll see. Everything's going to come together, like, really nice soon. Okay. So, what was that back here? That was a bunkhouse. And a uh, bunkhouse. Oh, with this one gone, we can go ahead, build a fighting arena in here. Let's pause it. And... Okay, man, the Dreadnought. Evacuations are ready. Um, so we have to send some engineers. And how many can we send? We can send as many as, like, um, 25. We need 25. It's, oh, it says it down here. Have engineers on the Dreadnought site. 25 engineers. So that's our goal. We need to get 25 engineers onto the Dreadnought. And once we do that, then we can start um, repairing it and sending resources from the city over to the dreadnought and um we're also we're also going to need possibly uh to upgrade the steam coal mine or i'm sorry the steam coal thumper but before we do that the next research is going to be faster outpost teams uh normally to send people to the dreadnought takes 24 hours but if we get the faster outpost teams it only takes 20 hours and um that means every six days we basically get one day back because it knocks four hours off. So four times six is 24. So every every six days, it's like we get an extra day. And if we can get that research done before 12 days, then it's like we get two extra trips to the Dreadnought. So we want to make sure that we get those two extra trips in, I think. And, um, and after we send the first engineers, then we have to start sending steam cores and all that stuff. So we want to make sure that our factories like we that we've uh used up all of our steam cores and we have lots of um are they called dreadnoughts no the uh what, what is this thing called the automatons we have lots of automatons gathering resources for us right so that's pretty much what we're going to try to do when we come back and that's going to be it for this one so let me know if you enjoyed it with comments or thumbs up or if you like my strategy i think it's going to work out very well for us uh, I'm enjoying this. This is a very fun and uh, interesting campaign. Very challenging to get a good order of doing things. And uh, subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Check out some of the other content on the channel. We'll see you next time. You have a good afternoon and take care.